Hello everyone, welcome to Techie Pocket 1, and this is how simple it is to add a rear sway bar to the back of your Grand Caravan. First of all, you're going to need the sway bar itself from your junkyard. I got this one for $18 with all the hardware and everything. You're going to need to make sure you don't forget to get the end link frame mounts. You're going to need some paper towels or microfibers and dish soap to clean where these mounts go. Don't forget the six bolts that help you put the stuff in. You'll need a 15mm ratchet and 15mm wrench. You'll need some end links. Make sure you get new end links because do the job right. Check the bushings for the frame mount here. And lastly, you'll need a torque wrench. Oh, and don't forget your jack stand and this jack. You'll need that to jack up the car so you can get under it. And in my case, since I'm on gravel, I have some cardboard so I can crawl under. So let's begin. So let's begin jacking up the car. Make sure you always set the parking brake first. And then you begin jacking up your car. Now that we got both our jack stand and our jack holding up this side of the car, we're safe to go under. Next we're going to go ahead and install the end link mount. So right here you can see it shows F for front and L or R for the left or the right side of the vehicle. The left is the driver's side, the right is the passenger side. So here at the front, so we point it this way and this is the left side so it goes just like this on the left side. On the right side it's the exact opposite. So let's put this in. I actually found the easiest way to access this um, mount is through the fender well here from the outside rather than under the car. You can easily access that bolt right there, and then the bolt right back here is hard to get to. You have to take a box end wrench, and you have to go at it this angle, that angle, and swap around. It's just really difficult. So uh, just spend your time wasting on that one bolt. And then don't forget to go ahead and torque it to 45 foot-pounds with this one. The bolt behind there you can't torque, but I found that tightening it as hard as I could with this one wound up being 40, about 40 foot-pounds anyways, so just uh, do whatever you can. Now under here on the right side is actually a little bit easier, way easier, as you have full access to bolt bolts right here from under the car, which makes it super easy, so I'm just going to go ahead and put those in. Now we're going to grab our end links and we're going to go ahead and bolt it real quick up to here. Again the torque for these is 45 foot-pounds, that's the torque for all these sway bar bolts. So after you got these, this bolt and that one hand tight with your wrench, you're going to need to go ahead and connect the end links from there to here. And to do that you have to lower the car and then stick your hand from the outside here and it's right here easy to access. Once you're done with that, make sure you got the top bolt up there and the bottom bolt here and those bolts to torqued to 45 foot-pounds and then you've got a sway bar in the back of your van. So thanks for watching guys, if this video was helpful give it a thumbs up and if it wasn't give it a thumbs down. Otherwise leave me a comment if you have any questions and thanks for watching.